Pennsylvania has one of the nation's top five deer populations with close to one and a half million white-tailed deer. They do a lot of damage from car crashes to crop destruction. But now there is a new effort to fight that by ending the state's 200-year-old restrictions on Sunday hunting. Game Commission Supervisor David Stainbrook doubts that removing the ban would be the best way to solve the problem. If we reduce deer numbers at that large scale, that may help uh, reduce the impacts to farmers, but we actually have better tools available to deal with the impacts for farmers on their property. Lawmakers from both parties are considering legislation to expand Sunday hunting, which is limited to just three days per year. Many farmers say it would help cut the population, which would lessen crop damage. It would also help hunters. A lot of the hunters, they work day jobs, so they can only hunt through the weekends. And if they have an extra day to hunt, they have an extra day to see deer, they have an extra day to have a shot, they have an extra day to you know, harvest that deer. New bills would leave hunting decisions to the Game Commission. Right here in State College, there are efforts being made as well. Right on the other side of those trees is Penn State's Deer Research Center. Penn State is working with the National Wildlife Research Center to help control the deer overpopulation issue. Additionally, this center allows research programs and they're testing vaccines and other probiotics for the deer. With less people hunting in recent years and less land to hunt on and other factors, many believe it's the right time to make moves to cut the number of deer. In State College, I'm Chris Reynolds for the Center County Report.